Have you ever wondered what would happen if you dropped a penny off a skyscraper? People who live in huge cities with super tall buildings must have thought about this at some point, right? We know that there are people who worry they could be struck dead by a penny that some rich kid flung off the roof of his top floor penthouse. Some people would just do it for the kicks to see what would happen if they did drop a penny off a skyscraper. But before we explain the physics behind dropping a coin off a skyscraper, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. Penny as a lethal weapon It's safe to say that it would be extremely difficult to take an ordinary penny and use it as a lethal weapon. That is, you wouldn't be able to do that without tools that would help you launch the penny at insane speeds. Throwing a coin over the barricades at the top of the Empire State Building would not kill someone walking all the way down on the streets. Even if dropped from the top of a skyscraper, a penny is just too small and too flat to become a lethal weapon. So, what would happen if a penny was dropped off a skyscraper? According to Lewis Bloomfield, a physicist at the University of Virginia, the penny would just flutter to the ground. Just imagine a piece of flat metal falling like a leaf. And if it did hit you on the head, it would feel like someone flicked you. Bloomfield recently used helium balloons in wind tunnels to try and replicate the fall of a penny from a skyscraper. He quickly discovered that getting struck by the penny didn't hurt at all, and even said that one of the pennies bounced off his face. The myth behind the penny Most people mistakenly believe that a penny would accelerate for the entirety of the fall because it's subject to the force of gravity. This means it would achieve breakneck speeds by the time it reaches someone's head on the street. Now, this would probably happen if all the air was removed from New York City and a penny tossed into a vacuum. However, a penny is colliding with air molecules that are slowing it down. This is called drag force, which is the air resistance that opposes the penny on its way down, counteracting the force of gravity. The air resistance becomes greater the faster the penny moves, so at a certain maximum velocity of the penny, the drag force becomes equal and opposite to the downward gravitational force. At this point, the two forces are balanced and the penny can no longer accelerate. Instead, it falls at a constant speed, referred to as terminal velocity. Since pennies are flat and light, they experience so much air resistance that it doesn't take too much drag to counteract their weight. So, if you throw a penny off a skyscraper, it will reach terminal velocity after only about 50 feet of descent, fluttering to the ground at a slow 25 miles per hour. A falling penny could reach 208 miles per hour. According to Bloomfield, a penny falling off a skyscraper could reach a staggering 208 miles per hour by the time it reaches someone's head, eventually damaging the skull and possibly taking their life. But that's possible only under perfect conditions with no air, which is something that is never going to happen. However, just because a penny can't gain a lot of speed to hurt you, it doesn't mean you shouldn't worry at all. Experiments have shown that a falling ballpoint pen is capable of doing serious harm and could potentially kill someone. If someone were to drop it from the top of the Empire State Building, two things could happen. The pen would either spin and flutter to the ground, or it would become a lethal arrow. Bloomfield says that the experiment in which a ballpoint pen traveled like an arrow showed it would come down at 200 miles per hour, hitting with a lot of momentum. It would probably chip the sidewalk or punch into a wood surface, and you definitely wouldn't want it to hit you right on the head. So, pay attention to things falling from the sky, and try your best to avoid them. Otherwise, you might end up on the news.